Erev Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Vayakel. Last night I walked the streets of our neighborhood, Ramat Beit Shemesh, Israel, and heard the sound of music coming from rooftops, coming from porches. The music was weddings, weddings of young men and women that were meant to get married in some beautiful hall somewhere, but of course they were all canceled. The halls are canceled and there can't be any assemblies of people. Um, so what did they do? People gave their homes, they gave their backyards, they gave their roofs for these very small groups to get married in. Hassan, Kala, his immediate family. And it was Lebedic, it was happy and it was beautiful. And there were two beautiful things that were going on. One was, of course, the acts of kindness that everyone extended. But even deeper than that, what struck me was the ability of these young men and women and the ability of the Jewish people to make do in a difficult situation, to be happy and let life go on when it seems like life is stopping. In these parshiot, we read about the Mishkan. The Mishkan was a temporary sanctuary in the desert. It was a movable, portable base hamikdash, a temple. And I ask myself, why didn't they just wait till they get to Israel? At that time, they thought it was going to be a few weeks. Get to Israel, we'll build a temple. Why spend so much effort on a temporary mobile sanctuary in the desert? And the answer is because that's what Jews do. We don't wait. We live in the present and we live now. It occurred to me that Therapists, rabbis, spiritualists, they all give us the advice, live in the present. I think that's a very, very deep spiritual idea, and I'll tell you why. Because God is Haya Hove Viyya. The way we understand God, and it's right in his name, he was, he is, and he will be. All rolled into the present. So when we live in the present, we're living with God and we're living like God. So for us, we need to go further. We need to live where we are. We need to not let anything slide. Use this time to speak with our children and learn with our friends and somehow or another, keep the Jewish people alive and going and keep our children stable and happy and we'll be zoche. We should merit to the true vayakel of everybody coming together. Bimheir of Yamenu. Shabbat shalom umevorach.